welcome back to Screen Queen Stream. Hey. You all know me. I'm Jessica Cameron. If you don't know my favorite ginger, this is Miss Danny Inc. If you don't know me, what the hell are you doing with your life? Right? Now, also, we have joining us the first man to ever grace the Screen Queen Stream hot tub horror this movie review. It's second time. It is, but yeah. like, I the don't know which video of the day. First. Probably this is going to be second. So you're still the first, bitch. You yeah, are still the first. I'm still the first. Uh, this is our friend Ivan. Share with them your channel, darling. Yes, my channel is called The Movie Void. You can find it here, too. And we review a bunch of beautiful little movies, and we also do vlogs every Sunday. Because you hate Sunday. Beautiful little movies? Like, just indie movies or just always beautiful movies? Uh, it depends. It, oh. Actually, mostly it's, it's either stuff that's so bad it's good or horror movies or just general obscure stuff. Oh, okay. That's what we do. Speaking so, of movies so bad it's good, what are we doing today? We're going to be discussing the movie Phantasm. That's right. Don Cossarelli is very first film. Segway? I did. That was an impressive Genius. segue. I also appreciate the fact that you took your, your sunglasses for this yeah. one. I like to think of this movie a lot like the last cry of horror in the 70s. How dreamy and stretched out everything seems in this film. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I like that was that way. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was 70, it was 79? 79. 79. Because yeah. I looked it up when you showed it to me. I was like, when is this? Because it's like crazy i was like is this like a it's either a really good period piece as far as the costume is <laughs> concerned or it's just 70s and it was just 70s what i should mention at this moment that i'm not the biggest fan of 70s horror films she's not i'm not it's typically one of the genres i like the least like i like 80s 90s 2000s way more than i like the 70s mm. which i know like that's a hot button i know it's like super trendy to like really love 70s horror cool awesome Good for you. I don't. For Good me, it's for more you. hidden this situation. Like, you can't deny that Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of the best movies we have in all of our time, I would actually say. I like feel like original. people can um, argue that. I feel like that. People I can argue anything. Yeah. So, like... No, I'm not saying it's not good. I'm just saying people can argue anything. Yeah, that's true. But, like, for me, it is. Don't say people can't argue because people will argue just because you said they can't argue. <laughs> So, that being said, the synopsis, according to Wikipedia, it says it's a 1979 American science fiction horror film directed, written, and photographed, and edited by Don Cossarelli. The first film in the Phantasm franchise, it introduces a tall man played by Angus Krim, who is a supernatural malevolent undertaker who turns the dead of Earth into dwarf zombies to be sent to his planet and used as slaves. He's opposed by a young boy, Mike, played in this movie by Michael Baldwin, who tries to convince his older brother, Jody, played by Bill Thornberry, and family friend, Reggie, played by B Reggie Bannister, of a threat. So dwarf zombies, that's what dwarf you call them. Okay, so I... I never knew what to call them when I was watching the movie. So just... Just, just <laughs> you reading that makes me think that it's a comedy. Yeah, like, <laughs> like that, it really sounds like one of those. It sounds like a comedy, like a like, like a Troll parody. 2. Okay, it yeah, sounds like, Troll like a 2 parody movie, horror like film. Yeah. So that being said, I like to kick this off by saying, "What worked?" But, when you can't say something nice, don't say nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> to my friend Danny Angs. Uh, but as you said, like uh, with the. Uh, that the film was still taken serious, even though the synopsis is actually just so whack. Well, it was like, it was well, meant I loved to be it, like, made by yeah. mostly amateurs, though. Like literally, from what I know, Don cast like a lot of his friends, and like he didn't use like a lot of like known people because he literally was like, well, "Let me just make this movie with my which friends." Is fine, but they're. I mean, I'm sure you have more talented friends than that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe I just because I have talented friends. I don't know, but. Really? These are the most talented friends you have? So I should also specify, I actually did not see this film until late 2000s. Oh, okay. I was so going to say, like, I the night like, we watched it. No, 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 no. I first saw it, like, late 2000s, but I didn't see it at the time. So my understanding is when it came out in 79, it was very mixed reviews. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. And one of the things that I really did like about it that I don't often like about 70s films is I felt the surrealness worked really, really well. It that did. is true. Okay. Absolutely. Right. And for me in the 70s film, a lot of the things that I does not work is because like the surrealness meshes with like just random shit that doesn't make sense and even though to some level there's aspects that I don't think really make that much sense you're taking a lot of liberties overall it had like a very consistent yeah. tone it was very like yeah, and my tone think, like, was consistent right? yeah. I will say that I like like the, the creepy dream like science fiction -y vibe was yeah very it was consistent. very science fiction and I like that element a lot and to me that worked really 
really, really well. Yeah. Also, for John to do everything that. on his own back in a time when you couldn't do this on your own for a low budget, I major fucking props. Okay, like, so kudos, kudos to you. I do. And especially at the yeah. time. It was 1979. Like, if I watched it in 79, I'd probably be a little bit more forgiving. I watched, watched it. Now, like, you're like, I know. I so watched it, people. like, what, a week ago? Not even a week ago. It was, like, within the last week. 2019. And, like, I've seen a lot of shit horror movies, and that was... That was okay. <laughs> it doesn't hold up that well anymore. Like, no, actually, I got the feeling. One thing later. I did... Okay, this... I'm, I'm going to go in the positive category oh, wow. for this. Okay. Oh. One thing I did while I was watching it, I could hear the voices of Mystery Science Theater 3000 in my head <laughs> making fun of it. And I was like, oh, that's fun. All right. So I feel like if they haven't already, I didn't really do the research to see, but if Mystery Science Theater 3000 hasn't done this, they should. Oh, well, yeah. here's the thing. Mystery or we Science should just do it. Fuck it. I'm oh, hilarious. <laughs> you are. But Mystery Science Theater chooses the movies that are public domain, and I do not believe Phantasm is public domain. Yeah, okay, yeah. well, that would be so They basically yeah. cannot use it or but show it if it's not public domain. Like, no, I, it's 39. It's still going like 20 years is, away from that. Maybe? Ivan. Yeah, this is you. Coming. No, I'm just, like, I'm making my hand like a puppet, puppet of you. So the other thing I, I really, so I love the opening. We open on a sex shot with fantastic 70s footwear. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Fucking, I don't care. I'm a shoe gal. I immediately All right, I did, that. I did love I those love shoes. Those great shoes great. Shoe, However, great fucking shoes. However, not a great sex scene because they were both laid like straight legs. But also, but here's Who the thing. sex like that? Well, here's the thing though, but I feel like oh, it works funny. under the context that she's like this apparition because she's supposed to be like the tall man in a different body trying to get him. Yeah, but her legs are still straight out. It doesn't matter. He doesn't know any better. He's like the geek. He's like so excited. He's fucking a hot chick. He doesn't know the fact that they're doing it wrong. I feel like that means like know that it's doing it wrong. <laughs> like I don't care if you're I mean, a geek he or not. You know when you're doing it he wrong. He clearly had no clue. Like he clearly did not know. I was a geek growing up and I knew I was doing it right. Okay. <laughs> well he clearly did not. I'm just saying. He clearly did not. He did it. But also, props. I love the shoes. Also, the I, shoes love, pretty awesome. I love the fact that they were so extremely 70s across the board. Like, everything about this movie is so fucking 70s. The yeah. bell bottoms, the fucking Well, yeah, hair. the guy was wearing a suit. Oh, it's like, but the suit had bell bottoms. I was like, down. Like, well, like I said before, either this, this costume designer for this period piece is amazing, or it's from the 70s. And it was from the 70s. I also love a lot of the dialogue because it's such 70s dialogue, oh, which yeah. again, I love. So there's one line that I called out, like where Reggie Bannister says while playing the guitar with his friend, he's like, we are sense. hot as love. We are, we are hot, hot as, as love. love. Like such a fucking bullshit 70s line. I fucking love it. Like you're literally like shit's going down. Everything's fucking, and you're like, we are hot as love as you fucking play guitar on your fucking front porch with your friend. <laughs> yeah, that was like pretty hippy dippy. Disco lyrics. But I love that it. Was, hilarious. That we were hot as love. That That's very like something you would see in like, the musical hair. Also, props to like the older brother when he's <laughs> having a sex with the rando girl and he's like he sees his other brother run away and he like literally jumps up. He's got like her panties in the mouth and he fucking keeps them in the mouth as he's like talking to her. <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's hilarious. Also, like a norm, like a lesser gentleman would have taken the panties out of your mouth, but he was like, no, let me have this conversation with my the your panties in my mouth. Also, why are they in the mouth? If you remove them, are well, you, that's, you remove them and then you're like, let me just put them I don't know. Right. Maybe he was put, I don't know. Maybe he freaked like that. Fetish. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he freaked like that. Either way, know. I appreciate the commitment. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to have this whole thing. Actually, totally shame the poor what, guy. What I, like, what I like is the fact that he was having sex with a hot girl. He was. Well, 70s hot. Let's, let's be real. Uh, but he also was like 70s cute. Yeah, that's true. Everybody was very 70s. It was great. I loved it so much. But anyway, so he was having sex with a girl. In a graveyard, and his little brother was running away, and he left that girl to go check on his brother. Yeah, Kudos to you, man. Yeah, Kudos that's a to respectful you. I'd, thing to do. I'd have sex with you again just because of that. Some girls wouldn't. So, I would. also known as Call Danny Inks. Only if you're little, <laughs> you have a little brother and he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so something else that I really loved that I thought worked really well was the Phantasm Spheres. I really oh, like. Oh, I hated spheres. those. Those were I stupid. love them. They like ridiculous. come at your head. They fucking pierce your brain. Fucking yes. made no sense. And after they pierce your what brain, you take sense? it out. They look nice. No, what did it make sense? It was awful. They're like they piercing your terrible. fucking brain. Totally. And cheesy. What did it work? Ridiculous. They pierced your brain. Yeah, they <laughs> pierced your brain, and then you it brought it out, and it, your the blood came out in a very unrealistic manner. I did not like it. Is stupid. I, I love it. It was stupid. They came I, at your I brain. Found it was nice too. I also Especially really like the, the time. Right? I appreciated the shininess of the sphere. And the and, <laughs> She'd rather if it was and sparkly, the effects. Guys. 
of it. I would have felt better if it were a disco ball myself. <laughs> it needed more glitter. But it needed, to, it needed to be a disco ball. A I loved how it was like this ball random would have like been better. Duck. I loved it. Would have been better. I, I was also loved the very first kill by the sphere where like he peed himself and I was like, that is accurate. I don't remember that part. He peed himself. It very clearly showed uh, that he peed I, himself. Yeah. I made a note. Clearly, Pete himself. <laughs> <laughs> she made notes. I don't remember half this movie because I didn't really care. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that I loved is the picture the kid found of the tall man in which he turned into a close up of him. It was so well done. Oh, yeah. Time. Yeah, for like, the Like, it was well done break. when I first saw it in the 2000s. I was like, that is a cool fucking effect. I can only imagine in 79 it would have blown people's fucking yeah, minds. You can't just, you can't just tap it actually. and make it bigger or, like, mm -hmm. make it bigger. Did you ever do that to, like, an actual photo? You're looking at a photo and you're like, to zoom in, you do it like you do put it on your phone. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that too. And I'm like, oh, oh wait, that's a real photo. You're creepy thing. So the other scene, there was a scene where Jody, the little boy, he lit a match, and the scene worked really well with limited resources. I love that. I liked a lot of the effects. I thought the effects overall worked really well for the time. Even in the 2000s, like I, I think like watching it now, you kind of have to hold it to like the nostalgia factor. Okay. But I think, again, even now, they still hold up because they're all practically done. Like nothing is CGI because in 79, it didn't even exist. Something had to have been CGI, right? Mm -mm. I mean, well, I mean, there was a little they CGI had a back then. No, no, but not for a three hundred thousand oh, dollars feature. That's true. Yeah. That's so true. I love that. Anything I was gonna say really Star loved? Wars, like had like was the original Star Wars seventy seven because <laughs> I'm a nerd and I know this, and they had some effects. But oh, God, but some. Correct. So uh, as far as I know, this doesn't have any. Correct me. Comment down below. Generally loved the way it was shot. Like I thought. I thought time. that. Like, I thought the sphere was like so a, atmospheric was and, and so dreamy, good. and the fact that it is such a spaced out plot that they could have like developed that in a serious movie that has this, this constantly consistent tone. That did make was sense. actually a good job. That that made it made be better sense than if it weren't all dreamy and. But I, it also confused me. I'm like, is he dreaming the whole time? Is he not dreaming yeah, the whole time? That's, that's what the a good fuck? Argument. But I still think it works either way. It does. <laughs> it made it work better. Is it? Oh, this this wasn't what didn't work. I'm no, sorry. that's what what did work. Because <laughs> I went off on a lot of stuff. That's fine. What didn't work? What didn't What didn't work for you? Dad? Everything. <laughs> it, didn't, it was boring. It made me sad and bored and. By the end, I was drunk because all I had to do was drink. One of the things that didn't really work for me was the blood being yellow. It just felt strange to me. I get that they were trying to show that they weren't of this earth and this planet. They could have picked that, a better color. But I just yeah, it something seemed, about it. I feel like they it felt cheap. It felt well, I, I felt like they, that's the colors that they had available, and they were like, "Eh, fuck it. It's not red. It's fine." Yeah. Agreed. So, and then when the finger turned into a fly <laughs> and Reggie Bannister's line delivery in that scene. Oh my God, funny. yeah. It just felt very like, I, I felt Reggie was going for the joke, which took me out of that moment because I yeah. felt like everything else was like they were playing it to be like, if we were in this in real life. And then Reggie played it for a joke, like it was a reality show or something. So that didn't work for me. Yeah. A lot of Reggie stuff didn't really work. Yeah, he was an interesting choice of casting, though, because like again, I, I don't yeah. feel like he's a good actor necessarily in the no. film or in the franchise. Quite he, frankly, I, I feel like, but like he I appreciate that he looks like a normal person. Yeah. I did really like that because he looks yeah, like a normal. Yeah, I like he's this look. Not an actor. He's, he's like look, he's like young twenties, but balding like he's fifty. <laughs> but that was a look in the fifth. I don't think it was. Young it wasn't a look good like. one. He could have been young twenties. He well, was probably like thirty. Like just, just I, I pegged him at like between. Either way, his 30. like hairline is like twenty to thirty years. The old villain in Flash is. Gordon. He, he, that's the exact same style. I don't, of look. I don't know Flash Gordon. <laughs> I'm sorry. You'd that's bad. That. My generation. Yeah, that that was a little bit before our time. Okay, so when the other I'm brother just as shoots, you guys. When well, the, yeah, but I mean, but you are go you back. though? When the older brother shoots the being <laughs> from the other dimension off his head, I don't believe on his best day that he could make that shot. I don't. Well, again, but, I thought but, we were taking a lot of movie liberties. But movie yeah. liberties yeah, are but, movie. Well, it was also a very dreamy one, so it was like, ooh, is this real? Is it not real? But yeah. I think we could do that. Okay, the other thing, so there's a couple things also, like, things that, anything else that just didn't work for you guys, those are what, like, didn't work for me. Everything! <laughs> I hated that movie. No, it was the yellow blood. I'm sorry, I didn't even hate that movie. I was just bored. I was some bored scenes out of my fucking felt mind. a little too long. That's didn't all like I have it. to say. There's but also, some, I feel like that's so movie, 70s. This, yeah, this movie, like has movie has pacing issues, one of the especially reasons from today's bored. perspective. Correct. Bored. I didn't notice the pacing issues yeah, when I first saw the film in the late 2000s compared to when I rewatched it. 
But also, like, when I rewatched it, I do think it's a really fun movie to have on the background because, like, it doesn't really have to make a lot of sense. You can literally have just, like, cool scenes that, are, like, work for people that are, like, mingling and talking and drinking and, like, coming back and be like, oh, yeah. This movie like, was made for to be on the background at a party to where as long as you don't pay attention to it, it's fine. <laughs> I just, I really also that... like it if you pay attention to it. I think it's really interesting. I also think... But, like, think about it. I think it's so hard to do sci-fi, horror, independent. Like, that's a trifecta that's fucking yeah. nearly impossible. Oh, the <laughs> event horizon? No, I, that was amazing. But that had a much larger budget. Oh, that, yeah, that was a way that's bigger budget. Like, no, I completely 100% respect the fact that you made this movie in the 70s, and had I watched it in the 70s, I'm sure I would have been like, oh, okay, cool, awesome. But I also don't like horror. Sci-fi is okay. But sci-fi horror from the 70s that I just watched a week ago, and that I, she forced me to watch, like, it, it's not my shtick. I will, I'm sure if it were my shtick, I would have liked it, but it's not my shtick. So is there anything that just, like, didn't make sense to you? You're saying the whole thing. Everything. A lot of it didn't make sense. So for me, I still understand, what about the Greek heads above the door? And I'm still wondering, what are those fucking zombie dwarves? So, no, I actually, the only thing I liked about and the movie was zombie, zombie dwarves. dwarves. I, wa- I wanted, I want, yeah. I like the zombie why? dwarves. They were very, they were very Disney to me, and I liked it. <laughs> so, and also, it. so I didn't know what to call this thing, but a friend of ours, like, filled me in. He was like, it's a cosmic tuning fork. And I was oh, like, yeah, I love that they, they played it on music and sound that I liked. And the only reason, there was, there was the guy playing the guitar and I think the only reason they had him playing the guitar in it was Reggie. Reggie was playing Mm -hmm. guitar. So they could put a tuning fork on there which is super old school as far as musicians go and I was super excited about that. Uh, But he put the tuning fork on there and the only reason they did that and I think the only reason they even had him play the guitar was to bring it back to the tuning fork, the giant tuning fork. And I was like, yeah. I was was digging, digging that on sound and music. Agreed. I, I love the sound. I love yeah. the music. I So would you recommend this to others? No. <laughs> it's, That's what you really think, Danny Angs. Actually, no. Like, assholes like you guys, I would totally be like, oh my god, this movie. But, but I feel like most of the people who I would, I would recommend this to have already seen this. I feel like I'm the last. But I think it's still, but I think it's still worth re-watching in 2019. We're just celebrating one of the anniversaries. Oh, by the way. As but as I'm well. sorry, if you've seen it but once, you either like it or you don't. It's such a, watch it or not. I think this is, in my opinion, it's one of the best independent horror films done of the 70s, period. Period. It's all right. I don't have anything to... Far, so name me cool. five better horror films that were made in the 70s. Okay, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. One. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I gotta think of horror that was made in the 70s. There's not a lot no, of great ones. I'm really no, no, The Shining was the 80s. Shit. Um, There's Clock not a lot of great Orange. ones. Orange. Halloween. I feel like that's horror. Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, two, three. Um, but still, I don't think you. Here's the thing. Yeah. If, it's like, if it's like top ten, it's that's all one I know. of the best. That's here's the thing. I, really I, I stand behind that statement. I think this is one of the best horror films made in the 70s. I think it arguably is the best horror sci-fi. I can't think of a horror sci-fi made in the 70s that's better than this. I think it's really well done, given the context. Hands down. Oh, uh, I can think of in the 70s. Um, the Body Snatchers is better than this. Okay, well, you have one. I thought that was... 70s. Thought, oh, was that 70s? Yeah. Okay. Right. You know what? Google will know. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Oh, you've seen that one. What? Body No. Yeah. But I agree that it was the 70s. I've seen parts of it. It's, it's a nice movie. I've seen parts of a lot of horror films. That doesn't mean that you can <laughs> say whether or not it's better. I, well, I didn't say it was better. I just was saying, is it 70s or 80s? That's all I said. I didn't say it was better. It's 70s. There. Hold on. I'm trying to find. I was arguing the time frame, which I don't think you need to see the movie to no. know. I pulled up body snatching on Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Ooh. <laughs> Uh, you'll get human trafficking sites. Yes. Nah, never mind. That's just on the dark web. She goes Actually, on the dark that web. Actually, that, that, that is her. That is web, yeah. All her phone is attached to is the dark web, so never mind. <laughs> it's like not... I'm trying to find out when Body Snatchers... Either way, if, Invasion you, can, like, of the body if you can find one movie that's better, it's still one of the best, period. Yeah, it is good. It is good. I'll give you that. Like, again. Well, I am not a, a good judge of that because I don't watch these movies. Uh, so for me, movies. I've seen a lot of 70s horror, and I I'm never not. like to talk about it because I hate them with the fire of a thousand flames. Because nothing makes sense. It's so inconsistent. It's all over the map. The acting shit. I do feel like, for the most part, the acting was really, really good. I think, again, Reggie, to me, is, like, the weakest link. I really like him as a human. Um, he's really fun. 
in life. Uh, Bo- Invasion of the Body Snatchers was 1978. Actually, so were right. ha, Re- Reggie, Reggie was actually my favorite character. In the he was super movie. fun. Yeah, like, he wasn't too. a good actor, in my opinion. Yeah, he was my favorite character, because all the other characters were kind of flat to me. But the acting wasn't, like, over-the-top unrealistic. I find of 70s cinema, I have an issue with, like, just not buying the acting in any way, shape, or form. It Even in, like, The Last House on the Left, like, the original, I didn't buy it. The Oh, really? Yeah. That was also 70s, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Like, but it was just I so over the top. The left. It's so over the top. Uh, I spit on your grave. I spit on your grave. Yeah, I've seen that. Thing. Like all, like so many of these like 70s classic films. I don't love the originals see because it. like the acting to me is so bad. I'll see. I like and this. The, I, I think like is like one the, of the best across the board. Than this. Have you I would, watched the uh, recently? Not recently. Not in the no, last five years. years. <laughs> um, because I, 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 but that's, I feel like that's, that's a choice. And like, again, too, also like the story makes the most sense of every 70s film, even though it's like very loosely tied. At least it has a tie. At least, at least they said it was a dream to make it the craziness, the fact that yeah. it doesn't really work, work. Yeah. And I think that's also why it like, but it's also such an a easy way out. That last it's minute. also a very easy way out. Just call everything yeah. a dream. But you know what? You're making a three hundred thousand dollar movie in nineteen seventy nine. Whatever the fuck you need. But that was that's, that was smart in seventy nine. That was smart. Now it's obvious. It's, it's been it's done. a cheat. But yeah. back then that back wasn't. Then it wasn't. We look at what was that? What was that show where they killed Jr. and then they made it all Dallas. a dream? Da- was it Dallas? Was One Dallas. of those old. Dallas. Dallas. Like I didn't. My mom watched it. You know what I mean? But like everything was a dream. Ooh, <laughs> everybody was pissed at that ending. They were pissed. pissed. The ending you know? of Carrie. Just Original like, just theory. like Lost. Yeah. Spoiler okay. alert! I've never seen Lost. I didn't like the, the first character. I, I know the finale. Yeah, I, like the I like the remake more. The first character. Oh, uh, I like the first. A lot of people would hate. I actually, actually like the first character. character. I like the remake more. Oh, uh, no, I no. Chloe I like Grace the original. Was a better than no. season I like the original. So, but what I I'm saying. I'll get lynched for that. No, well, go to his channel and complain to him. Go to his channel and be like, "You suck." I forgot what I was saying. Do we have any final thoughts? Don't go see it. <laughs> you know, you're not going to see it. Don't uh, buy don't it. See it. Watch it. Don't buy into Jessica Cameron's like If you like theory. classic horror, if you like sci-fi horror, or if you like 70s horror, it's must-watch. This is a I agree with that. specific movie. But if you're like Danny and like musicals and Hallmark and Lifetime movies, don't watch this. <laughs> so also known as none of our friends. Well, Does it matter? <laughs> They're all the fucking same. They starred Dean Cain, a fucking golden retriever. Uh, no. I... Name me one like that one. doesn't have Dean Kane or a golden retriever, Danny. <laughs> I can't think of any right now, but I will get back to you. Okay. I'm going to send her a whole big list. She appreciates it. On that this. note, guys, don't forget the like button down below and also subscribe. I produce new videos every week, 10 billion bonus points if you join the Patreon. And I'm going to link these two bitches down below. Follow her on social media. Subscribe and visit to him my on channel, YouTube. The Movie Void. He makes these really cool vlogs with really awesome editing that I couldn't do because I'm not German. I'm not German either. Really? I'm Canadian. Croatian. But you lived in Germany. I did. So you're like German adjacent. German adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> Bye! Bye! Oh my god.